This is nice. Isn't this nice? This is nice. I'm going to keep saying this is nice, and you're just going to have to agree with me. If you look at the right side, it's lovely, bright, happy fabric. It's completely irrelevant to this video, but I just wanted to show you what the proper fabric looks like. This is a remnant that I've picked up to make reusable shopping bags out of, and that is a video for another day, because that's there's a lot to go into there. But I make a lot of reusable shopping bags with an organisation called Morse Bags, um, and I've been making a lot of them because there's a festival coming up locally that I like to <laughs> make people take bags at. Not that I'm going to the festival, but there'll be bags there. This is also irrelevant to this video. I just thought you might like to know. Anyway, a little while ago, I won a competition on Facebook, which is very exciting for me because I never win competitions on Facebook or anywhere else. And that prize was from the Funky Friends Factory, which is a soft toy design company based here in Australia. I think it's currently based in Tasmania. Um, they're designed by a lovely lady called Pauline MacArthur, who makes these great soft toy f fabrics. No, soft toy patterns. There we go. The giveaway was for fabric. So the fabrics that I won are from Island Batics, and it's this beautiful teal flower vine, flower vines. Are they teal or turquoise? I'm going to go with turquoise, actually, now that I've said teal. On this, let me get this folded out for you on this sort of marbled pink and purple background. Do you see? Yes, you do see. And I also received this two-tone purple, sort of spotty, marbly batik fabric. And the competition also, there also gave away a pattern from the Funky Friends factory to make with these fabrics. So I selected, because it was one that I didn't have already, Sparkle Seahorse. There's sparkles there, and there's sparkles on the back in a different fabric selection. Uh, because I like seahorses, and because I've never made sparkles seahorse, I've made a few of the Funky Friends Factory patterns. Funky Friends Factory is really fun to say. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Anyway, because... <laughs> oh, no, you're easily distracted. Um, because I realised I could make... A whole horse out of this and a whole horse out of this. Seahorse, that is. Not a horse horse. I stopped off at a fabric shop, which was hugely exciting because oh, this is a sidetrack. This is me just flapping my lips. But um, I've been putting off going to the big chain fabric store over here, which is Spotlight, the nearest one to me. Uh, there's also Lincraft, which is not the nearest one to me. But I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because I don't like going. <laughs> And then I was out with a friend yesterday and we drove past a quilter's shop and she had to go to a nearby hardware shop. So I went and got the fabrics I'd been putting off going to buy. It was very exciting. You're sharing my excitement, I can tell. So the plan is that I will match these two fabrics and these two fabrics because... Purple and yellow is one of my favourite combinations and because the turquoise goes really nicely together. And then I will make two seahorses. That is like a bonus seahorse. I'm very excited. Um, Pauline also included something which I have almost immediately... There we go. It's over here. I'm organised. <laughs> she also included uh, some safety eyes which was excellent of her because I don't have any this size, and if I did, they would be black. So, and they're the fancy ones too. Look with the metal backs. I am so fancy. And the felt for the um, eye area there. Eyelashes is the word you're trying to think of. I already had that word. I wasn't even worried. So I am now going to go press my fabrics. Um, I'm not actually going to pre-wash them, partly because I'm lazy and partly because... This is not something that's going to be going into the washing machine anyway, unless there's a terrible, terrible conniption, in which case fabric shrinkage is probably going to be the least of my worries. So I don't tend to pre-wash if I'm making soft toys. It's just how I roll, because I am slack. So I'll get that pattern out of the way. So I'm going to go and press these, and then I'm going to go and set up the sewing machine for something other than 
reusable shopping bags, which will be exciting for the machine, I'm sure. It's exciting for me. I'm going to shut up and just get on with it now. I'm not going to record the process because it's cumbersome to do that, and I don't know if I mentioned, but I am slack. Um, I'll take some photos. We'll have a, a fascinating slideshow situation at about this point. Two finished seahorses. Somebody on Instagram said that this purple and yellow one looks like Spyro, so I'm pleased with that because it means I'm cool and down with the kids. Is Spyro still cool is the question there, and it's one I probably don't want you to answer. These were such a joy to make. I had so much fun. They were um, so many little pieces and so many curvy bits and, oh, some tricksy sewing, and I loved it. It was right up my alley. Uh, so this is like a pattern making masterclass because look at the shape. Don't look at my hand camera. Look at the shape. Look at the shape right through this seahorse and the belly and that curve there where the belly joins the. They are exquisitely designed. I absolutely love them. Get the tail back in shot. I was going to take them to the beach and do this bit in the sand. But then I remembered I live like a really long way from the beach, so I've stuck them in a tree instead. We're going to have a little close-up look at them by doing that. There we go. The one thing that I did have trouble with on both of them was actually the side fins here. I'll get this out of the way so you can see. When I made this one, the first one, I had the pattern guide placement upside down, so this fin actually ended up up here which looked, um, well, I looked at it for a long time thinking maybe I can live with that, and then I decided no. So I unpicked those side seams, which you can see there, um, which I'd already clipped. So that was a, a fun adventure in things potentially going horribly wrong. And they did go slightly wrong because if I flip this little guy over, you can see I caught this one when I was sewing them back in. And I decided I could live with that rather than unpicking it all again. So there's his little face. But look at the belly. I'm a big fan of belly. It's beautiful. You're going to keep looking at it until I tell you to stop. So apart from that little folded up ear, this one is pretty good. I've done a lot of good clipping on the tail there. I'm pleased with myself. I'm just going to hold that out so you can see all of it a bit closer up. I love this fabric. And I love the, with the purple and yellow. I'm just going to turn him around so you can see the other side. But I'm doing that one-handed. There we go. So the shape of them, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The shape of them is gorgeous. So there's my purple and yellow Spyro seahorse. And I will put Spyro seahorse back down and get everything out of shot. This one, for some reason, was the second one I made. Get in shot. And I had most trouble with the head. And I had trouble again with the side fins. This one was okay, but then if I flip, this one is still okay, it's a bit floppy. It's still okay, but when I sewed it in, how am I gonna show you that with one hand? I'm gonna put it down again. When I sewed this side in, it was actually down here at the neck. And I looked at that for a long time and decided I couldn't live with that, but I hadn't clipped that seam before I had to unpick it. So that was all right. So this one, for some reason, I don't think is quite right, but I love it anyway. There's something, I think, in the neck shape. I haven't quite got that. But the pattern is beautiful. This one was trickier to cut out because I wanted to keep... Excuse me. There we go. I wanted to keep the colour run the same down the side. So it's it's not really pa possible with the pattern to match the pattern perfectly. So you can see the seam there at the tail. But I wanted to keep the mottled colour run on the, pretty much running through each side. So I think I've managed that. So that's the paler side, I think. And we'll flip and catch. And that's the darker side. So I'm pretty pleased with how that came out because there is a neck seam there that's not quite as obvious. And I thought that would help make the seams not, not as obvious with this big, bold pattern print. Get your head flap organised. Head flap. 
So this is very, look at that face. His nose is twisted, don't talk about it. So again, one more shot of them both because I'm very much, oops, don't fall down guys. Oh, you've got, you're shy. Don't be shy. Come out. There we go. There we go. So these are my little seahorses. I'm going to probably call this one Spyro because, yeah, this one I don't have a name for. And I suppose it doesn't really matter because I'm an adult, ostensibly. And uh, I probably shouldn't be naming soft toys, but, you know, I'm going to. So there they are. I'm very, very pleased. And I'm so thankful. Thank you very much to Pauline from the Funky Friends Factory for sending me the pattern and the eyes and the fabric. I was very excited. Oh, one thing I did change from the main pattern on this one is I've got the eyelashes pointing outwards. These ones point inwards. Um, I did that on purpose. <laughs> that was deliberate. Anyway, I'm just pointing that out in case you think I didn't do something deliberately. I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you've enjoyed the seahorses as much as I have, and I hope you will be interested in maybe making your own. I'll put a link in the description to the pattern and also a link in the description to the fabrics. And I think that's all the links I'm going to put in the description because I can't think of anything else I'll need to do. Let me know in the comments if I have promised something that I haven't delivered uh, in relation to this video, not in like my general life because you know, we just don't have time. 